Hey everyone, welcome back to Up on the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. Now, if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, then how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna to be talking about Amazon Prime's newest film, The Tomorrow War. I'm gonna have such a hard time with that damn name. It's like a tongue twister for me. La Guerra de Mañana. There we go. <laughs> Tomorrow War is a sci-fi action movie. We are basically taking place in 2051. Well, technically we're in like in present time. I know actually I think we're in 2022 over there or 2023. We we're pretty close to here. I was gonna say present time. We have people from the future, 2051, coming 30 years um, to the past or our present to ask for help because we are the last hope to save the human race. We are talking an alien invasion here now me personally i'm not really too too fond of sci-fi movies i mean i can watch them i dig some of them um but they're not particularly like up there where i'm gonna be rushing to watch it mind you this is like one of the first movies that i watched for this weekend that you know with a bunch of movies coming out actually with that said i do have quite a few reviews coming your way this july 4th weekend including a ranking video so the concept in this movie was actually pretty cool um again we're not only talking aliens but we're talking time traveling time jumps and it's pretty funny because they do come during like the world a cup and they kind of interrupt that possibly during a winning goal there but like i said they're coming to ask for help they're asking for help forcefully so they are recruiting people no they're not recruiting people they're drafting people into this war to the future we're not having just military people headed out into war they literally get anybody and everybody well not really anybody they honestly just get people from a certain age group which now that i think about it i would probably fall within that draft yes i probably would definitely would there are certain requirements that you do need it's what it seems like i just thought about it that i thought no but yeah three of those characters did have the same outcome so yes i guess that is the main qualification uh, but we won't say that because we're gonna try to do spoiler free review here but like you saw earlier it does have a really good uh, cast jenkins simmons did absolutely great in the movie um unfortunately you know he really was underutilized i really honestly uh would have loved to have seen more of him within this movie betty gilpin oh, i just fell in love with her in the hunt and so i just i know that she can do so much more and again just not use great in the movie like i feel like they could have just got somebody else to play the wife the standout in the movie would be yvonne and i'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce her last name and there's just kind of things that are happening with her within her character honestly before they actually mentioned it as soon as i saw her i was like i bet you are wondering if this is so and so and so and so and it actually ended up being it i feel like it was just a wild guess it is not perfect it does have quite a few flaws in it um like the length it is way too long it's two hours 20 minutes could have just taken half of that maybe right underneath the two hour mark if not right at the two hour mark there's just so much that happens within the movie so quickly that when you realize oh crap it's only been this long and we still got this much going and then you feel like oh this is gonna be the stopping point okay we got this this is resolved you know that's gonna be it we're gonna get a little bit of like oh happy dialogue whatever but no 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 we we had like 35 40 more minutes to go in the movie i was like oh shit okay i mean mind you there's like a lot of exciting things that happen there in the third fourth fifth act six act i don't know how many acts this damn movie has but there's a lot that's going on and it's actually really really entertaining like i said there's a lot of explosions a lot of bullets a lot of killing of these aliens oh actually you know what another positive the aliens the design of these aliens are actually really really good like the cgi aliens are on point and sometimes with these kind of movies alien designs are not the best but the cgi aliens actually we're good um we actually don't see them right away within the movie and the way that we first got presented to them was actually really really cool too it's kind of like a little peekaboo like oh don't see me but you see me very like ooh, like this is this is a scary creature it's gonna come the way that they're so stealthy and very difficult to kill yes they did a really good job with that back over here so much is happening they're telling the story very quickly and but yet it's long even the beginning of the movie the way that it starts it's 
honestly like your typical like sci-fi or just your typical end of the world kind of deal we have like the family the happy family but yet you know the the father the, the husband is not fully happy with his life he's like an ex-military who loves science who's now a high school biology teacher and then the comedy you guys yeah. Sam Richardson he's the com uh, comedic relief here and it's just it's very unnecessary a lot of the dialogue just generally just wasn't really that great some of the characters is like we have them and it's like okay you're gonna be part of this and then they just kind of like leave they're either you know sorry the damn neighbors are showing up with this damn fireworks and this Coco's going crazy so either the character dies so don't get fully committed to all of these characters because some of them are gonna die or they kind of like leave we never hear from them again or they leave they come back and it's just like okay those are all my negatives that i can think of at the moment even though i did have those negatives i do think it is a good movie i see myself re-watching this movie i do recommend it as well but like i said it is a good summer movie i think you would have a lot of fun with it especially if you are into sci-fi movies or sci-fi action movies and if you like a good alien movie like i don't think we've really had an, a good alien movie movie in quite some time like i said the alien design is actually really good um so it's not like you're gonna see like the shitty looking alien up there no well aliens like multiple like hundreds of thousands of aliens like you don't you, we're not just dealing with one little alien no you guys it's like a freaking invasion like i said they're about to like get rid of humanity but before i do give you my score of course don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and of course don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new with all that said i am gonna go ahead and give the tomorrow war a medium of popcorn if you have seen this movie let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it or did you hate it was it just not for you um do you like these type of movies go ahead and let me know down below what is your favorite alien invasion movie all right guys until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye